Imagine you're testing a system and it's locked behind passwords, FTP, HTTP, or even a database. And what if there was a way to crack those passwords and uncover vulnerabilities before anyone else could? So meet Hydra, the ultimate brute forcing tool. But hey, wait, I've got a gift card for you guys hidden somewhere in this video. So stick around to see how you can grab it. Learning and getting rewarded. Isn't that cool? So what is Hydra? Hydra is like the Swiss army knife of password testing or brute forcing. It's fast, flexible, and supports nearly every protocol you can think of. FTP, HTTP, databases, and even more. But here is the deal. This is for educational purposes, and this tool is for ethical hacking only. Don't even think using it without permission. We are here to secure systems, not to break them. Don't forget that gift card could pop up at any moment. So keep watching closely. Now Hydra works by testing username and password combinations from word list until it finds the right one. So for this demonstration, we will crack an FTP login. Hydra can also handle protocols like RDP, MySQL, but for now, let's focus on FTP. Ready? Let's dive in. So here is the setup. I've got here the target machine, which is metasploitable with FTTP enabled. All right, let's go back to our terminal. Fire up your terminal. So for the sake of time, I've created my own word list, which contains the password. But Kali Linux comes with powerful pre-installed word list like rocky.txt, which you can find. You can just type locate and you'll get the path for it. So it's under user share word list rocky.txt. And it contains around 1 million words. Insane, right? And there's also sick list, which you can find under user share word list. It's very popular as well. However, Hydra will help us identify the correct login credentials. So let's see that Hydra dash L. I'll explain that in a moment. Let's admin. And here is the command. So this dash lowercase l it specifies the username. So let's pretend we already know the username, but we don't know the password. So we're gonna brute force the password. You specify dash uppercase p and then your word list. So I have it in the same directory. All I have to do is just type the file name and FTP for protocol. For example, if we're brute forcing SSH, we would replace FTP with SSH. And this is the target's IP address. And dash v is an extra one. So we can see what's going on behind the scene. Simple enough, right? Let's hit enter. And there it goes, testing each password from the list. Hydra is incredibly fast, and it's only a matter of time before it finds the correct one. Just a reminder, keep an eye on that gift card. It might pop up very soon. And here is another scenario. What if we have neither username nor password? All we have to do is swap this dash lowercase l with uppercase l, and instead of username, which we don't have, we will just specify our word list, which is demo.txt and hit enter. Now what Hydra just did, it tries every username that is in that word list with every possible password. So at the end, we've got the result. And let's try out if this is correct. FTP, Hydra said that the username is MSF admin and the password is MSF admin too. And the login is successful. WD and we're in home MSF admin. Awesome. So that shows why weak passwords on services like FTP are a huge risk. Always test and secure your system before someone else find these weaknesses because it's so dangerous. All right. And what if you want to save the result for later? Maybe for some analysis or you want to add it to your pen testing report. All you have to do is Hydra, same command. And just right before the FTP, we add a dash O flag and name your file ftp result.txt and run it again. So this command will save all the outputs, including successful credentials to this file. Let's take a look at that file. It's called ftp result.txt. And there you go. Your output has been saved successfully. And if you made it so far, congratulations. Here is how you can grab that gift card. All you have to do is drop a comment related to this video. Maybe your best pen testing tool or a creative way how you would use Hydra ethically, of course. And don't forget to subscribe to help this channel grow. See you on the next one.